What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Adidas Campus Low Bad Bunny. All right, guys, before we get into the shoe, there's something new I wanted to try out to further gain your subscription. Yes, I said it right. I want to gain your subscription because I do think I do a good job showing you these shoes early, up close and personal looks at the shoe. But like I said, I want to further um gain your subscription so this is what we're gonna do so i want you to visualize what i say and if this image i put up above correlates and actually makes you smile or makes you smirk go ahead and hit that subscribe button so all right go ahead and visualize for me you worked a full work week you didn't do shit all week but this is how you're gonna look Friday afternoon after getting paid on your way out the parking lot home. If that made you smile or smirk, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the video. So I decided to take a break from the studio, do a quick review of this shoe in the car. So let's go ahead and get into it, starting with the box. And this is my first Adidas purchase in a long time. So, um, Really digging this box. You have your three Adidas stripes. And right above those three stripes, you have the Bad Bunny logo. Really like the design of that. Taking a look at the side of the box, you have Bad Bunny script. And this is a slide box, as you'll see in a second. Um, but you have your Adidas trifoil logo. And you also have that Bad Bunny logo. And again, another dope um, Bad Bunny logo. Taking a look at the other side of the box. Again, you have that Bad Bunny text. Quick look at the sizing label. It reads Bad Bunny Campus. Um, and we did pick this up in the size 12. Um, the ID for this shoe is ID 2529. It does have a weird color code to it, but I'll let you take a look at it. So we'll go ahead and pull on this pull tab. Pull the box up. And these shoes do come in a Adidas dust bag. It has your Adidas Try For You logo and the Bad Bunny logo on it. And the quality on this dust bag is decent. Um, decent thickness to it. So I think you probably can get some usage out of this dust bag. I know some collabs, um, the dust bag that they provide is usually junk and you can't really get much usage out of it, but this is a decent quality dust bag. So take a quick peek inside the bag. As you can see, each shoe is individually wrapped. So let's go ahead and pull one out. This is your standard white paper. Has that Adidas logo branded around it. And here you have it, guys. The Adidas Campus Low Bad Bunny. I think this colorway is called Chalk Brown. Give you a quick 360 set of shoe. We'll jump into some of the details of it. Very dope low top in my opinion. Um, has some decent heft to the shoe. And that is primarily um, this thick mid and outsole. That's probably what a bulk of your weight and also this uh, double layered tongue that we'll get into shortly. I think that's probably a uh, majority of the weight. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the shoe. As I stated earlier, this is my first Adidas pickup in a long time. And if you've seen a previous video, I had mentioned that I had a pair of Adidas low tops that I love to wear when I'm running errands. And I actually have those on right now. But yeah, I actually love these uh, Adidas. I've been wearing them for probably close to 10 years so i figured i'd go ahead and pick up another low top i always did like the bad bunny collaborations um and i just so happened to see this shoe release and and um it piqued my interest to go ahead and grab it so i was able to pick these up off of uh, adidas confirmed and they did retail for 160 dollars. not too bad they also have two other colorways of this shoe one being the olive green and the other one is um i think it's like a tech gray or light gray but those shoes are going for um over 200 dollars resale so so i figured i'd take my chances on these um newer chalk browns but i do think the sale midsole and um mudguard section of the shoe complements well with this chalk brown upper uh, but let's go ahead and start from top to bottom in this shoe and that's going to be starting with the sock liner as you can see the ankle collar area is actually lined with this high quality filling um, leather material. And that's in the whole sock liner area. And you also have this Achilles tendons um, pad section. And it too is also um, lined in this nice uh, soft leather. I think that's probably one of my favorite parts on this shoe. Quick peek at that insole. You have that um, Adidas Trifoil logo and the 
They have bunny logo. And we'll take a look at that insole um, shortly because it also does have that nice uh, quality leather material on it. But moving on into the outer portion of the shoe, you have this thick padded um, ankle collar. That's one of the most prominent parts on this shoe that you're going to see. And I actually love the look of it. Very unique looking to the Bad Bunny um, collaborations. And I can't say that's one of the features on the shoe that I really do like. The overall look at this padded ankle collar section, along with the materials used in the, it is a very um, quality and plush feeling on the inside of this sock liner. But moving down, the full upper is of this very soft, um, I would say medium hair suede. As you can see, you have your Adidas Campus um, logo right here. You also have the classic Adidas three stripe, and that is in a darker brown leather. Nice quality feel to that also. But I'm very impressed by the quality feel of this um, suede. Very soft. I'll try to get a closer look at it. Um, see if you can get the textures off of it. But overall, I think it's probably one of the best feeling suede that I've felt um, in a while on a shoe. And that suede material does run along the eye stays of the shoe. Also the lateral side of the shoe and the toe box. So moving on into the midsole of the shoe, uh, it is like a split design, being that um, your mudguard section has like this rubberized finish um, to it, running along the mudguard of the shoe, all the way into the heel count of the shoe. I think that's a unique design to the shoe. It probably gives it overall um, a decent feel on foot and stiffness and um, keeps you pretty much secure because some of these Adidas, um, I think they probably run kind of small throughout the um, footbed of the shoe, but I can see this extra um, material on the mud guard section, giving it decent stability to the shoe. But moving down into the midsole, it is um, like a sail colorway matching this upper portion of the shoe and into the heel counter. Um, I think, as I stated earlier, um, I think the sail midsole complements this uh, chalk brown and this darker brown complements it very well. Taking a look at the outsole, your standard classic Adidas hair and bone traction. Moving to the rear of the shoe, quick look at the heel counter. And again, it has that material along the heel counter of the section. All right, so we're going to jump back up top, take a look at the tongue. Uh, this is a unique part of this shoe also. Um, this is a double stack tongue. And I'll give you closer shots of that. But it does come pre-laced with your rope style sail laces and the lace tips do have a bb bad bunny on them and they also provide you with an extra set of laces these um, laces also have bad bunny on the lace tips this one is actually spelled out versus the initials on the other one it's almost like a light peach and i think they actually go very well with this um achilles tendon padded section i think the color matches that perfectly um so if you did want to change out your laces but for now i think i'll stick with these um these rope style sail laces i think they actually go perfect with that um sail midsole on the shoe so these are the laces i'll leave in for now give you a closer look at the tongue and again it does have the bad bunny eye logo on the tongue and this is like a very squishy soft material nice feel to it very wide double stack tongue once you flip that down you can see the other tongue underneath and that is like a more seal colorway you have your adidas trifoil logo and this double stack tongue is actually um has four buttons two at the top and two down below and the materials used on the tongues is actually like a nylon texture material on both tongues and I do like the overall um, overhead profile of the shoe, very wide. Um, and for someone that has sort of wide feet, I think this shoe is going to be a perfect fit for me. I know a lot of Adidas run small and narrow, but as you can see, this is a wide shoe. And um, I did go true to my size, which is a size 12. I heard that these shoes do run somewhat big, but I didn't want to take a chance in getting a narrow shoe, so I did go true to size. And though I haven't tried these on, I can tell immediately my foot can fit in these with no, with no issues at all. So I think I'm good on that. Let's keep moving forward. I am losing a little daylight, so hopefully it's picking up 
on camera without any issues. Taking a look at the insole, it is um, that chalk brown insole, and it is of that leather texture material. Very soft materials used. Um, feels of nice quality to it. And again, you have that Adidas Tri 40 logo and the Bad Bunny logo. And as you can see, the texture of this um, leather used is very nice. Um, to match this inner sock liner. Almost made me not want to wear any socks when I do pull these shoes out. But um, we're taking a quick look at the medial side of the shoe. Same design. You have that beefy midsole and the upper portion toe guard to heel counter section. To me, I think the main star of this shoe is the overall um, quality of materials used from this medium haired suede. Very soft suede. This is probably the best suede I've felt. Since doing these shoe reviews, this is the best one. It's an awesome feel. And um, the quality of the, the leathers used, um, especially on this sock liner section of the shoe and this Achilles um, tendon pad is a very nice quality. And I like the overall uh, design of it. And the starter shows this padded ankle collar section. Um, I really do like the design and look, especially at the rear of the shoe. Going into that um, medial side of the shoe, just a nice thick shoe. Um, again, as I said earlier, it does have slight heft to it, but it does feel of quality. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at my other shoe. we get you guys out of here. All right, guys, so forgive um, the sound if you hear something. I had to turn my car on to get a little air circulation going on, but this is my right shoe. Um, give you a quick 360 this shoe. Very dope design, man. I would really do like this shoe. As I stated earlier, um, Adidas usually um, have, a, have a very slim um, footbed to it, but this shoe, as you can see from the top over here, view is very wide in the four foot area of the shoe. So I think that's gonna fit decently comfortable for me. For a second, I thought I actually had my other shoe, but looks like um, both other shoes actually have like some kind of tag on them. So this one has the Adidas and the Bad Bunny logo on. But yeah, guys, how y'all feel about these Bad Bunnies? I know this collaboration was a decent um, collaboration, what, a year or two ago. I know people was actually picking the shoe up i never really um just kept my eye on bad bunny i knew of them but i never really um went after any of them until i saw this shoe but i was kind of surprised that most sizes are actually still sitting um on adidas I, I think they actually sold out on adidas but i think i seen almost a full size run on dtlr um foot locker I want to say finish line also has them and um they have tons of sizes still available so i was kind of surprised to see this one was um sitting i guess not too surprised as some of these jordans have been sitting upon release so it's just a different time right now in sneakers um a lot of nice shoes are sitting i guess people are being more selective and uh wiser with their money with their purchases and um so in my opinion it's an it's a very good time to um, cop shoes that you actually want and not have to always pay um, resale for a shoe. But it was just somewhat surprising that this collaboration shoe is still sitting. But And like I stated early in the video, I actually like the olive green pair of these just a bit more than this pair. Um, but I do like this chalk brown um, colorway but I kind of like the olive green just a little bit more. But with this shoe being $160 at retail, I think that's well worth the price. Very, very well worth the price of this shoe um, with the materials used on it. Um, you're gonna actually get your money's worth on the shoe in my opinion. Because the only other um, Bad Bunny shoe I know of is I think the Bad Bunny Forums. Um, that one had more straps on it, I believe. Um, but I do like the overall design of this. Like I was saying, I like this Achilles tendon um, pad. Looks very good on feet. And I think this is a very good fall colorway. And since summer's winding down, um, we got fall coming up. So I think this shoe will actually be 
a nice um, shoe to have in your rotation for um, fall. Since this channel is Drip Kings TV, let me give you a little visual on what you can drip the shoe in. And I actually already started to buy things um, to wear with this shoe, but and I'll post the images up here if I have room just to give you that visual. But this is how I'm gonna be rocking these shoes. And if you're pretty familiar with Seth Fowler, he is a bigger sneaker YouTuber. Um, this is his brand Apothecary. And um, he just recently released these socks. And this design is called the Turkish Rug. Um, I think it was actually four colorways. I went with this, um, I think ruby red and also like this, uh, this navy parasol. I think that's gonna complement well with this chalk brown, um, especially with this inner um, sock liner area. I think that's gonna go very well. Um, very nice fall colors, but yeah. Um, let me know how y'all feeling this um, Adidas Campus Bad Bunny collaboration. Um, were you interested in picking this shoe up upon release? Or are you probably still interested in it if you are? Hopefully this video gave you uh, some kind of insight on um, the materials used on it, the overall quality of the shoe. And in my opinion, the materials used is very worth um, the price of admission for this shoe. But guys, that's what I have for you today. Um, stay tuned to the channel. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button. Um, I got tons of shoes on the way and I'm actually thinking about some dope custom um, shoes that I think will take everybody by surprise. Not sure if I want to pick that up yet, but just in case, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that content that's possibly coming. And of course, I appreciate y'all for coming through for a quick look at this Adidas Campus Low Bad Bunny collaboration. Till the next time, peace.